Hey DC Collectors, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. Today we're taking a look at the Total Justice Green Lantern action figure from Kenner. Now before we get into this review, if you will, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I sure would appreciate it. And share this content with all of your DC Comics fan friends. I would love for you to do that. Now, let's get on with this review. Like we always do, first we're gonna take a look at the package before breaking this guy open, so let's take a look at it. Here is the front of the box. It features the Total Justice logo as well as, you know, a look at the figure. Back of the package shows you the instructions for how to use all the cool gear that Green Lantern comes with. It even shows you the rest of the figures in this first wave, as well as the UPC and all the copyright gar garbledy gook. Bottom of the package, as you can see, just features that Total Justice logo, which is in of itself pretty cool. So a little bit about this figure. This is not Green Lantern Hal Jordan like most figures are. This is Green Lantern Kyle Rayner. Now at this time that this figure was created, he was the Green Lantern in the JLA book by Grant Morrison. Kyle Rayner came out in the early 90s and he really took over the mantle of the Green Lantern and has continued that path today. The bio on the back of the package states that when Kyle Rayner was given a mysterious green ring by a guardian of the universe, little did he realize the enormous power that had been entrusted to him. He became Green Lantern. With his fractal tech gear in place, Green Lantern's strength and ability to create crime-fighting tools increases tenfold. Thanks, Batman, for your fractal tech gear. Okay, so here is Kyle Rayner out of the package. And as you can see, you have to get him in this ridiculously wonky stance just to get him to stand up because he won't do it without it. It's crazy. First, let's start looking at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with this cool fractal gear chest piece. He comes with these cool fractal gear leg or arm pieces i don't know we're gonna find out in a minute comes with this cool disc launcher thingy that's fractal tech gear stuff yeah. and he comes with one disc to stick inside of the fractal gear doohickey thing here we go we're gonna put it in there like so and now it sits all you have to do is press your thumb on this and watch it fly and I just took down Kyle Rayner. Now let's take a quick look at Kyle Rayner. Of course, this is a figure from the 1990s. So at the point, at this point in time in action figure history, pre-posed stances were all the rage for whatever reason. I don't know. I never liked it. Uh, I grew up with my first DC Comics toys were the Mego superhero pocket size heroes and then graduated into the superpowers figures. They didn't have this crap. But you know, I, figures can't be choosers. So when this si when these figures did come out as a kid, I was happy to have them e e because I was a big DC Comics fan, and this was the only thing to get. So let's just look at it for what it is—a '90s action figure. Other than the pre-posed stance, I mean, look at him—he looks really good. Just a nice sculpt by Mattel. I think you know, in some cases, these sculpts look better than some of the stuff that they do today, even though this is pre-posed like that ring, I mean, you can really tell that that's a Green Lantern ring, where some today are just so uh, not detailed sculpt like this, and it's hard to pick up in the camera, but you know, some of them are not really, so it, it, it makes it tough. The face, he's got that Urgh, look on his face, Urgh, look at here. Now there are some paint slip ups here with some green there, some green there. He's got some slimy pieces like on his legs and that's just where the plastic is sort of breaking down. It's been in this package since the 90s. So the, the, the you know, the plastic's gonna start breaking down. These things don't last forever. The oils are starting to seep out from it. But you know, some soap and water will help clean that up. Got copyright info here, copyright info here. This is one of the most egregious pre-posed designs though. I mean, just the, the space between his legs, how he has to stand is just kind of crazy, really kind of crazy. All right, so let's put the uh, Fractal Tech Gear on him. We're gonna put the chest piece on first just because it's kind of cool. And I like to see that chest piece. There you go, Urgh, I've got it. Hey, look, this thing moves up and down. I guess it can, you know, sit back when he's not actively using it. Now, are these pieces, these might go on, 
I think these go over the knee, over the leg, maybe. We're gonna see, let's move his arm out of the way. It's been a while since I've put this thing together. I used to have these, yeah, these go over the legs here. So you can tell this is like a knee piece right here. So we'll put that over the knees, fit perfect. Now, where does this go? I guess this just attaches to his hands, I mean to his wrist. So you put that on there, and now he's Fractal Tech geared up so he can take on the likes of Darkseid and Despero. So there you have it. There is the Total Justice Green Lantern action figure. Pretty cool version of the character. You know, a 90s Kyle Rayner Green Lantern who you can't really ask for more from this series, except for the fact that those pre-posed legs are kind of crazy. All right, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and that like button, I sure would appreciate it. You can find me on dccollectors.com each and every day, and you can find me on social media at DC Collectors. Until next time.